What is going on guys, Ben Gleading here, coming back at you with another video. Today we are back on Power of Peterson. This is episode number 13, if I'm not mistaken. This is the team. In last episode, we debuted a number of new players, including Randall Cunningham, I believe Ryan Schrader, Martellus Bennett. On the defensive side of the ball, we debuted the likes of Dominique Easley. I think Geno Atkins had played one prior to that. And um, today we are debuting... 85 overall, Chris Carter. Currently in head dad seasons, we are in rookie. Nah, we're in we're in pro second string. I want to say. Yeah, we are in pro second string. We are three and one thus far after a 21 to three victory over Cheesy Broccoli. Three losses remaining. We have to get to seven wins in order to make the playoffs. I believe should be able to do it. I'm excited. Let's get into it. All right, Mexican Mankey is up. There's our top three players, and he is rocking Twitch Prime, Jerome Bettis, Rodney Harrison, and uh, Power Up, LaShawn McCoy. All right. Not a fantastic team. Hopefully, we can come out with a win anyway. Could be a very good player. You never know. It is only pro second string, though. But you, you never really know what you're going to face. Just like if you run a pawn shop, you never really know what's going to walk through that door. But how about a fumble in the end zone? He's going to have to take this one out. And take a huge hit. There's a fumble. Dayon Buchanan into the end zone. Touchdown on the very first play of the game. Wow. I almost debated going down at the one there to ensure an upgrade for Adrian Peterson. Like if we could get a touchdown with him, that would have been pretty big. But the win is an upgrade regardless. We're going for the win at all costs. Oh, no. I was typing some shit on Twitter. Uh, Twitter.com slash Bengal Designs if you guys want to check it out. I'm very active on there. I'm also watching the Yankees game right now. And uh, Jose Altuve just hit a bomb to left field. I am a Yankees fan if you guys never watch my MLB stuff. Which, uh, you know, that actually reminds me. A lot of people have been asking, where's the MLB content? It's the playoffs. Play MLB. I'm pretty much done. Like, there's maybe one or two more videos max on MLB that I'm going to do the entire rest of the year. However, I'm still playing it a decent bit. It's kind of occasional. Um, but I will be back strong for MLB The Show 18. I can promise you that much. That's a run. That's a run. It's Oh, it's a screen, actually. Make the play, Dayon. Or I'll take it with Darius. Like, I'm going for that hit stick. I know he's going to cough up the ball. Pick that off. Let's go, Dayon Buchanan. He's got a touchdown already. Carlos Correa just doubled. That's that's annoying. We're going to game seven. I don't know when this video is going out, but I don't think there's any way the Yankees come back from this. That's why I started recording a video. Here's Adrian, though. It's not that many runs, but that's that's totally apart from the video, so we're going to worry about that another time. Here we go. Play action to Adrian Peterson. I got to throw that ball quickly, and that is a great pass to Marty B. Very small window to get it in there. We got it in there, though. Pressure came in somewhat quickly. Had to make a decision. All right, I have high, high hopes for this play. Here we go. Oh, my God, it sucked me inside. Here's Adrian Peterson, though. Oh, my God, he's closing in. He's closing in, and he's in there to the end zone for the touchdown. When I say he, that was a poor choice of words. I meant the defense is closing in. Adrian Peterson uh, declined in speed out of nowhere, seemingly. But we did end up getting into the end zone. We are cooking here early. 14-0. Here's a pitch to the outside. Oh, huge play from T-Sizzle. Oh, is it actually a run? Olivier Vernon. And he can go absolutely nowhere. This defensive line has proven to be dominant. I know Terrell Suggs is an outside linebacker, but he's playing down. He's playing uh, basically as a defensive end. And after the first loss of yardage on the first play... Second down, Olivier Vernon coming up clutch. It's third and 13. Got to shut him down. He's going outside. That's picked off. No, it's dropped. Come on, man. There it is. There it is. Dayon Buchanan. Easy reads. User pick hype. And Dayon is still going. Uh, what's, a, what's a book? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Dayon Buchanan. Two interceptions, a fumble recovery, a touchdown absolutely annihilating Mexican Mankey. Oh, Stefan Diggs caught that? Okay. And Gary drops the ball. Alright, 
that's enough of the Yankee game. Oh my goodness, I didn't, I, I didn't decide what to do fast enough. That's a sack. Forcing a field goal attempt from fourth and twenty-three, where you got a chance to test out our new kicker Caleb Sturgis a bit here, and he is going to sink this one pretty easily. Yeah, that was, that one's right down the middle. Seventeen, nothing. I'm there. Big hit. You cannot run on me. Not gonna happen. You cannot run on me. Stop. You can't. You cannot run the ball. They, they gave him the first. What? I missed my tackle. That's so odd. Like, I'm spamming A. Make the conservative tackle. He's still going nowhere. That shouldn't be a first down. That's dumb as hell. He's going to be able to run easily. Come on, man. Are you kidding the fall forward down to the one? Kirk Cousins. I thought that was Mariota, maybe I said earlier, but. Kirk Cousins. Another run. Nowhere to go. Stop running the football. You can't. Ah, uh, dude, I can't. Fuck! I knew it was coming. I didn't have time to set up what I wanted to. I didn't want to leave that open on the inside. Damn it, man. Let's get it to Adrian. Make somebody miss. Adrian's still going. How? Go, Adrian. Please, all day. AD. AP. And he's still moving. Let's go. Ever closer to 150 total yards for AP. I'm going to go to the classic Bengal QB draw in this situation. It's really never a good idea. Other than it makes your opponent think about it. And then you can just run up the middle. I tried to slide there. But the funny thing is, he might be committed to stopping the run. But I am committed to running the football. And I'm going to. There's a good block. I got a stumble recovery. Oh my goodness, dude. I hate running into the back of my offensive line. And it's so frustrating. So now that I've come out, I've run the ball three times consecutively. I think it's pretty safe to say he's going to be expecting the run here out of the same play. So we are going to pass. He ran commit. And Randall Cunningham viciously overthrows Stefan Diggs for what would have probably been a touchdown. Nice. Now we're running the ball again. Let's take this to the outside. There's a hole. Opens up. Adrian Peterson down the sideline. He's going to dive and he gets me. No. Eight rushes for 76 yards and two touchdowns though. Not bad. Is he going to rage quit? That'd be a tear skip. I'll take it. Rage quit. Rage quit. Rage quit. He's gone. We get the tear skip. We got 150 uh, total yards. We got two touchdowns. So that is uh, two touchdowns is two upgrades. 150 total yards is one upgrade. And then the tear skip. So we have three upgrades and a tear skip. I'll take it. All right, so with my first upgrade, I'm going to be addressing free safety. I really do like Malik Hooker, but uh, Adrian Amos, very, very fast. He's a significant upgrade to Malik Hooker if we go ahead and compare their, their attributes here. Plus two to speed, worse acceleration, worse tackling, but better man, better zone, considerably better hit power, better in pretty much every category. Same chemistry too, not that that matters at all, but now let's go ahead and address strong safety terrence brooks can't be my guy with this upgrade i'm gonna go ahead and buy lamarcus joiner the strong safety for the rams now his main downfall is that he's only 5 8 85 speed 80 zone 78 hit power 79 man he's a good strong safety comparatively to terrence brooks he's better in every single department except for speed and of course height we're gonna see how he plays though i'm excited to to debut him so now we have one more upgrade and we have a tier skip for the Rage Quit. Where do I use these? Surprise, I'm buying Legend Randall Cunningham. 875k is a lot to spend on any one player. I'd like to try him out. The other Randall Cunningham overthrew a ball last game that I'm just like, I can't work with that. This Randall Cunningham is significantly better in literally every single way. His accuracy is better, still has ground the rock chemistry. Got him for the lowest one on the market. Uh, on Mudhead, he goes for currently the lowest one is 900k. And that is the move the sticks. It's 925 for throw deep. It's 918 for toughness. And it's currently 998 for ground the rock or pound the rock, whatever it is. So I think it's safe to say I got him for a decent price. I know there's one that's pound the rock for 900 right here and it's not selling. 
and 930 here that's not selling. But I see on Mudhead that he's going for a pretty pretty big price. So I think it was a good good call, good price to get him. We're gonna try him out. It's an upgrade, even though it's not um, like an upgrade to the next level. It's an upgrade in terms of overall. It's a different player. It counts as an upgrade. Legend Randall Cunningham. Next episode is going to be interesting. And since we have Pound the Rock chemistry, he's going to look even better. 94 throw on the run. So, that's a thing. So last but not least, we do have a tier skip upgrade that I can use. Which pretty much would be going after the lowest overall player on our team. And going up to the next, the next set. And I think I'm going to be using that on left end. Daniil Hunter has played so well. And he is a Vikings player. So it is kind of a shame to get him out of there, to lose the awareness and play wreck. But we are going to be upgrading to another NFC North player. One of the best defensive players in NFL history in 90 overall, Reggie White. He is a Twitch Prime legend. I got him for free. He's going to fit in pretty well with the team and just be a sheer dominating force on our defensive line. Those are our upgrades for the episode. Adrian Amos... Reggie White, LaMarcus Joyner, and of course an offense with Randall Cunningham. Super excited to try him out in next episode. Stay tuned for that. Could be today, or not today. Could be tomorrow. Could be the next day. But either way, you guys are going to get it very shortly. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.